Hi, Wanda Jose from Bassas Marketing. And we usually get the question as to what is the process between uh, transferring all information from an old site to WordPress. And I took this opportunity to actually do that. So once the website come off the WordPress integration the, from the Photoshop team, it usually go to the secondary team where they just add uh, whatever picture you may have for content. If you don't have any content, then we'll probably come up with something for you as a starting point. But normally that's what we do. So uh, just transporting information from your old site to the new one. Here's a good example that we're working on a client site, and this is what he has right now. He was just not having the results that he was wishing for, so he came over to us and joined our program so we can help him get better exposure and branding and everything else. So we had to ditch this old blocky looking all time favorite that people love in this industry. So we had to get rid of this. This is something that, first of all, Google hates because everything's just combined together to one page. When Google cross a site, each individual page got to have its own element, its own page title and everything else. So if you want to rank well for your Gaba Gaba, you can have Hello Kitty, you can have Diego and Dora together, Mickey Mouse, because once Google crosses this page at the end, Google won't know what this page is all about because it's just jam-packed with the monsters together. So what we've done is uh, clean it all up and dump this whole blocky looking uh, site, uh, template site, which we hate so much at Bounce House Marketing because they are basically useless. All right, so uh, here's a new version and everything is separated into categories. This is his, um, if you go to the bouncer page, everything's separated by size if the client wants. So 13 by 13, 15 by 15. Um, this is an extra tab. Uh, he can add his regular bounce house here. Uh, we just got this uh, for samples. But if anybody click on the uh, the 13 by 13, they're gonna come to a nice, clean, super navigation that Google just gonna love. Every page is gonna be individualized for better traction for Google and, and a better experience for the end user. For example, if I were to click on uh, Hello Kitty, it should take you to a whole different page with a nice video, some content. You can keep adding some more stuff you wanted to, but everything is super, super clean. And that's what we're aiming for. If you go back to all site, if you click on Hello Kitty, all you're going to get is something that is a pop-up that is useless and Google really hates this because it's, if she detects this, she's thinking that you're going to come to a, a brand new pop-up window where more information, uh, something she can crawl, and it's nothing like that for her. So uh, that's something that you should try to get away from. So let's go back and compare the two. Um, if you click on the Hello Kitty again, you get a nice page with a video, content, and we can add more stuff here. After this stage, uh, we add the shareable button here. It's a shareable button. So it's now a requirement for Google. And then we can go in to simply SEO the page, which that's going to be in the bottom. Once we install the SEO plugin, all the SEO element will be right here that you can actually edit very quickly um, and we'll guide you every step of the way. And that's what it looks like behind one of our sites while it's being integrated. Now, when it comes to adding images to your category, it's very, very simple. As long as uh, you utilize the Photoshop if you need to, which we provide, or you can go online to pixlr.com and you don't even have to download Photoshop. You can actually use it right from their own platform uh, without downloading it uh, to your computer and using up space. All right, so uh, if I want to add another picture here, all I have to do is hit edit, go down to my products page, very easy. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, add some information here. I can add an image here, but before I do that, let me go ahead to Photoshop. So I already got the image size, so I don't need to uh, get rid of the white background because he already has a white background on his site. So I really don't need to go that route. Let me go ahead and uh, redo the image size. I already know the size already is 178. I like that there. I'm going to save this as a JPEG. So instead of me loading it up here, again, uh, you guys got the habit of doing this. Don't load up anything with numbers or uh, percentage sign because Google doesn't read it. All right. Uh, let's do something way better that Google's going to read and it's going to help her put it in the right image search 
uh, when she needs to add more products to that search engine uh, category for her. So I'm going to name this uh, Diego Bounce House. Diego hyphen bounce. I'm trying to put all the keywords that I need in here. I'm going to save it to his folder. I'm going to go to the products page. Find Diego. As you can see, everything has already been alt tagged. This is very important to add. This is in case your client doesn't allow image to show up. What's going to show up um, instead of the image here, this is going to show up. So uh, he or she may say, oh, I know what this is. And it's going to click on it to open it. All I have to do is rename it. At your prices. But for this case, I don't have it. So add that. If I had a drop down menu or an inner page created, all I have to do is select it from the right hand uh, panel, like I did with uh, Hello Kitty. Normally, it would be something like this. Since I created that page already, all I have to do is create it and just pick your pages. In this case, I don't have a Diego Bounce House page created, so I'll leave it as it is. Then I'll come back to it later. Hit Publish, View Page, and you can see Diego is already inserted without any HTML, without these complicated things, without calling the webmaster, just straight up easy for you guys to manage your own site. And it looks really, really great. If I had an inner page, all I have to do is click on here, and it will bring me to that particular product, just like I have shown you before with Hello Kitty. If you click on it, it's going to take us to a nice, clean page with just that product alone and not no other bounce house because I want the customers to just really focus on this product because that's what they click on. So that's how easy it is uh, to control your own site. So I hope this short video helped you and gave you a glimpse of what we do behind the scene. And if you have any questions, sir, you can always call us or email us. We would love to hear from you. In the meantime, take care and happy high rankings. Take care.